This is a California poppy. Its scientific name is Escalesia californica. An interesting fact about California poppies is that Native Americans used to use the sap from the flowers because they thought it would be a toothache remedy. It is also the California state flower. They even celebrate a California Poppy Day, which is held on April 6th every year. Fun fact, when you go out to California, they have meadows and meadows upon California Poppy. All you see is just poppies all over. One way to distinguish the California poppies by the fern-like foliage that almost looks like yarrow, but is shorter in length. It has somewhat of a basil-like foliage. The leaves are very needle-like and thin that are a bluish green. The flowers come the flowers tend to be pointed upward towards the sun and tend to have the leaf petal the edges of the leaf petals covering each other leaf petals so that there is no gap. This is a simple form and it's orange. I know it's a little hard to tell but it's orange. Here's a patch of yellow flowers. It also comes in yellow. Here's um, some white ones. As you can see there. A little creamish color, but they're still considered white. And here's that fern leaf like foliage that we were talking about. And here is a rose color flower. California poppies like full sun and they also do very well in well drained soil areas. They do not do well in moisture areas. They also do not transplant very well which is why they tend to be an annual because they die out if you don't just leave them. They're about a foot tall and spread, spread out a foot. The California poppy is the symbol of sleep. There is even a song called Golden Poppies Goodnight that was created that can even put you to sleep. And here are 